Hey, what's up everyone? This is Saul and we're gonna do Digital SAT Practice Test 6 today. Last week I did Practice Test 5 and uh, that was because it just got released a couple days before then. Now uh, I'm gonna be doing Practice Test 6 and my goal with this stream is just to show you how I do it. I'm trying to remember what I normally say, but it's been a long time since I've done this stream, these kinds of streams. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of do a quick overview of how I generally approach my, uh, my, my practice tests, and then I'll get right into the test itself. So the thing that I think you should try to notice when I'm solving this test is that um, I am basically a lot slower than you guys on the um, on the reading, and I am much faster than you guys on the process elimination. And I want you to figure out like what 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 it is that I'm doing that's different from you, uh, that makes me, you know, so confident in my answer choices. Obviously, there's the basic the the there the there the uh, familiar culprits of just like vocabulary and grammar and just understanding sentences better than you but there's more than that I think so I will challenge you to kind of figure out what it is that I do differently all right I think that's basically all I really need to say we can get into the test itself here we go all right so practice test six reading and writing here we go Three, two, one, let's go. Small paintings or illustrations. She is drawing from. Memories drawing from, inspired by, okay. Disproving the common misconception of art as something, it actually employs a range of styles, so like, you know, monolithic or homogeneous, sure. Um, oh, I forgot that I actually usually zoom in. Recent measurements of the mass were notable not only for the mere fact that it differed from expectations, but also for the scale of it. Yeah, seven standard deviations, the scale. Oh, perfect. Birds sing to communicate over potentially great distances. Wait, I just lost track. Sing to communicate over large distances. Generally sing at lower frequencies since they tend to penetrate more stuff. Wait, since dense vegetation tends to muffle the distance, yeah, or stop or shorten, um, diminish. There we go. The following text is from Betty Smith's novel. Second, minor technical issue. There we go. Here we go. Uh, novel, a tree grows in Brooklyn, 43, 1943. Francie, library. All the books, alphabetical. Go through the dry ones. Abbott, a book a day. Bees, buffaloes, Bermuda, Byzantine. But France, wow, yeah, that's hilariously, I, I actually relate to that quite a bit. <laughs> Enjoyment of a, not topic, topic is the wrong word. I'm talking about to characterize her, um, her little project. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, yep. Let's see, I'm at People of Medieval Europe. I'm at, I've spent two and a half minutes. Traditionally seen as uninterested in cleanliness and hygiene, but modern research has shown this is largely a myth. They do care about cleanliness. Most towns had a bathhouse. While such amenities were available mainly to town dwellers,
Rivers and streams. Oh, so town dwellers versus um, agricultural farm people. So that's a concession. Nope, not the studies. No, nope, that's not the right concession. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the right concession because public bathhouses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is correct. Mm, here we go. Oops. Argerich. Music. Spontaneously. Skilled. Risks. Preparation. Okay. Okay, this must be overall structure. No, no, no. We're talking about... Um, we're, uh, the main purpose is to describe kind of the... Um, the, the, the uh, to attribute a cause for her abilities. Yeah, that's B. Oh my God, B is so easy. It should have been harder. It could have been harder. Okay. Wait, let me just. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Chikiwite. What's going on? Oh yeah, this is that stupid bug that I complain about last stream uh chikiwita cave chikiwita <laughs> sorry uh has appended the belief that clovis were the first 200 33,000. okay so this is 20,000 years before revealing human bug but it is premature to Characterize them as tools. They're roughly shaped. Fracture from rocks? That they may have simply fractured. Oh, they might be rock fractures. Okay, there we go. Okay. Two would say that uh, we can't, it's premature to, uh, it's a premature conclusion because the evidence is false. Yeah, there we go. That's B. Fabula and Suzette. Oh, what? I don't. I don't even know these terms. I'm like a. I'm a failed literature major. Okay, I don't know these terms. <laughs> okay, the content and the arrangement and presentation. Sure. Content and form. Content and form. Uh, Fabula is the family story, and the Suzette is a presentation between two timelines. Okay, so Bakhtin is saying these two are not good enough, sure. Main idea is that Bakhtin is saying these two are not good enough. So A or B, and then, yeah, then that is A. All right, there we go. Uh, partial list of candidate species for de-extinction. Let's see, de-extinction. The extinction was oh okay we're like we're gonna bring them back to life like Jurassic Park. The last two ones are very much Jurassic Parky. The longer extinct, the less likely it's suitable. That a habitat is suitable, especially concerning for saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths. Yep. Uh, I had to just double check C because the woolly mammoth was mentioned on that one, but it said it, there was a false there was a falsehood there. Uh, yellow wallpaper, uh, mixed feelings about her surroundings, mixed feelings, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. All, there we go. Land area covered by um, native flowering site at a site in Arctic. Land area covered by flowering plants in Arctic. Okay, there we go. Um, 
colo is very much increasing and but still very very small very tiny too tiny okay let's go um, the warming has affected the species Mo both have expanded colo while both likely benefited from warming temperatures colo actually grew 55 percent nope not faster though showed a greater increase in the average size size is incorrect saw a greater there we go oh this is literally just uh interpreting what it means wow all of these are just interesting that's is that something we've had before let me just double check A now. Might as well. Yeah. Um, uh, media consumption has become that one. Okay, the one that the, the one before was a little interesting because it was kind of just asking for you to interpret the graph without really paying that much attention to like the trends. So. I don't know. I think it's good that they are doing that. Okay, just thinking out loud, I'm gonna focus now. Media consumption has become increasingly multi-platform, socially mediated. News finds me. Eh? Hang on, what? Um, oh, media consumption is fragmented. People don't actually look for news, they, they wait for news to hit them. Okay, that's true, of me at least. Uh, NFM attitude, Polit political knowledge and political interest. Okay, so the more knowledge and interest you have, the less NFM is what I'm expecting. NFM may reduce voting probability through an indirect effect. Okay, indirect effect. So NFM reduces political interest and knowledge, reduces uh, voting. That's my inference here. Yeah, there we go. That's B. That's exactly what I predicted. Um, so we have dialects of English spoken in Scotland are emphasized. Ka, bur, bird. Okay. Similar emphasis in Upland South. Scotland have concluded that they are related. From the dialects, this one could be uh, arguably wrong, um, depending on how strict we're being. C is backwards. Will you leave entry? It just feels off. No, okay, I guess A is the only one. Hmm. A could be, you know, A could be wrong depending on, uh, <laughs> should I, should I fly that? I mean, I feel like I need to come back to that because I think I just eliminated the other three, but I, so I don't want to waste time. I'll come back. I'll follow my own strategy, you know, which is I do process elimination and move on. But, but dude, that was, that was sketchy. Um, 2016 biological anthropologist Heather F. Smith and her team investigated the evolution of the appendix. Appendix, evolution, got it. Um, organ in mammals and humans, but not functional. In the, emerged independently. Hasn't disappeared. So there's, that implies maybe it actually is functional. It's functional with relation to lymphoid tissue and immune responses in the cecum. Likely helps with immune responses. Yeah, that is B. I'm just gonna double check. I just, yeah. 
Never mind. All right. So, man, I am so fast. Holy crap. Uh, dude. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go. A harpsichord may look just like a piano, but the difference between the two instruments is easy here. Uh, the strings inside the instrument. Uh, okay. Instrument. The strings inside the instrument are plucked, not strung. There we go. Um, I mean, I have so much time. I might as well reply to the chat now. Anoop, what's up? And Zappin, what's up? Uh, oh, nice. Cool. Uh, good, to, good to hear. All right. So I'll talk a little bit more about my programs at the end of this stream. I made a grammar mistake last time, so I'm going to slow down this time, okay? Last time I made one mistake. Very annoying. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. He was just the man for the place. It was just the place for the man. Oh, this is grammar. Sorry, I'm just not focusing. It's an example of anti metabole a writing technique that creates... Technologies such as microphones, ink printers are made using piezoelectric. Oh, I'm, I'm focusing, I'm, I, I don't know why, I can't turn off my reading brain. The toxic nature of some of these materials recently left, to investigate how something happens. How their use could be better regulated, there we go. Uh, each night, uh, the source of the glow is a lamp inside the tree-shaped structure, something's Illuminates, okay. French philosopher René Descartes doubted whether he could, yeah. The something of, what? The phrase's simplicity masks it. Yep. Fans of the film Moana may not know that the deep and human voice behind the main character Character behind the character behind the character Tomato the crab belongs to the comedian Jermaine Jermaine Clement Jermaine Jermaine okay I didn't know that uh, hilarious Jermaine uh, moving on Tell Potter this technique involves smoth smothering the flame surrounding the clay vessel as a result. Uh, afterwards, hang on, just wait. I'm, I'm, I read that too quickly. Um, whoa, it's because I've been out of practice, man. I'm like finding the transitions between the question types a little janky. Um, I'm, I'm very, um, yeah, I'm not transitioning very smoothly. Okay, so don't don't follow me with my shitty transi transitions. <laughs> okay. Um, made her signature all black ceramic vessels. Ugh, I can't speak. Using a heating technique, blah blah blah. This technique involves smothering the flame surrounding the clay vessel. Uh, as a result, yeah, that makes sense, because we're just talking about uh, a process there. Oh my God, this stupid bug! Albert Popa took up graffiti art, spraying his work onto what was concrete. For example, his uh, no, no. Uh, subsequently, uh, likewise, sure, because we're talking about his son, Mary Ellen Pleasant, a successful. Okay, after successfully challenging. Oh my god, this freaking Zoom. So annoying. Can you. S uh, college Board, why'd you do this? Just let it be. Let me control my interface. What are you doing? All right. Oh my god, this is so infuriating. I'm just like, now I have to keep my fingers on just to. Just to hold it in place. Holy shit. A successful entrepreneur during the gold rush era earned the moniker Mother of Human Rights. Okay, there we go. She's, she was successful. For example, in 1866. Okay. Specifically, yeah. The Inca... Uh, furthermore, they may have used it, okay.
Sugarcane Institute, uh, Limit Dependence, uh, Botanist, Breed, Crossbreed, Hybrids for India. Okay. Emphasize that she created, she successfully created, um, yep, that focuses on the successfully created, just double checking the rest of the facts. Crossbred the imported sugarcane species. Okay. I mean, I don't even need to look at B, C, and D for that one. All right. And actually, let me just double check. Emphasize the achievement. That's correct, right? You know, I'm being a little bit more cautious. I mean, I have the time anyway, right? All right. I just had to quickly double check. I really wanted the success there. And I didn't see the success in B, C, or D. Uh, following notes. Oh, I'm zoning out again. Dude, I am not focusing very well today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, anyway, freeze law, 92%, uh, 12 weeks, sounds cool. Molten salt, liquefies, solidifies. Uh, liquid flows, solid, stored. Oh, interesting. Specify how salt enables storage. So the salt enables storage by solidifying. Yeah. Okay, salt enables storage. The stored solidifies, stop flowing. Yeah, that has to be C. Just double checking the other ones. I'm looking for solidifying. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna just double check 14 because 14 is to me, it sounds logically, technically wrong. So let me just go and double check. In dialects of English spoken in Scotland, in the present, the R sound is emphasized. English dialects of Upland South place simply, similar emphasis on the R in the present. In the past, they were colonized by people who came from Scotland. Therefore, linguists have concluded that Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I mean, B is clearly wrong. I might as well do the process elimination now. Backwards. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. All right, that's module one. I did it very, very quickly. I have 11 minutes left and I can tell I am actually really tired. <laughs> I'm tired and I am distracted. So I'm gonna take a quick break, uh, mainly to just get some coffee in my system. So I need to leave uh, my room and pick up some coffee. It'll take me about five minutes to get back. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, and I'm gonna wait for this caffeine to kick in. <laughs> oh, bro, brother, I am, <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> so, I finished 11 minutes early. There's five minutes left, so I just took a six minute break. My brain feels a little a little bit mush and uh, mush, mush, mush. And I can't really, I don't feel very articulate right now. I also feel very distractible. I'm like easily distracted right now with all of this. Like when I go from question to question, I'm just not 100%. So that, that's the thing that's kind of worrying me right now as I get into the second module. I'm just thinking, mm, do I need to change anything? But I don't know, besides this caffeine, I don't know what else I can change other than, I mean, I guess I, guess I could talk less but I feel like that would that would lead to a worse stream. You know, you wouldn't know what I'm thinking. Uh, so should I talk as much as I normally do, but then risk the pro risk losing focus and getting a worse score, or should I prioritize just being selfish and just <laughs> talk? I don't know. Mm. No, I'll just commit. I'm not gonna make a mistake, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it perfect. Ah, my eyes. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take thirty more seconds of break, and then we're gonna get started. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, should I get started? <sighs> Here we go. Next module, War of 1812 has uh, something place, a strong, a large place, a, a prominent place, of mixed, oh, no, no, because it's a minor place, it's overshadowed, yeah. Wow, I'm already fumbling right off the, right off the bat. College board, don't be stupid. Don't do this stupid Zoom. All right. Design artist William Morris co-founded his repudiation of industrialization is uh, um, evident in the... Okay. Manifest in the... Uh, of overemphasizing... Senior citizens, okay, bucking, bucking, countering, bucking, redressing. Okay. Redressing is like um, addressing, except for um, when there's a harm. Uh, the following text is Giovanni's Room, Taxi, Street, Paris. Dress in blue every day but Sunday when they're unbelievable festive black, okay, in blue. Disputing every inch our passage, uh, disputing our passage as in blocking. Yeah, cool. 
The hard part there is you have to realize it's saying disputing our passage. You guys just suck with, you guys get distracted with commas. On Painter, Johnson's return. His style transformed. He went away from expressionist, bold new way, flat, simplified. So it's just elaborating on the previous claim. That is correct. Do I need to double check? No, I don't need to double check. I mean, I skimmed B, C, and D anyway, but I really kind of didn't need to. I'm just losing, I'm actually lacking a little bit of confidence today. Scholarly accounts of Shikana movement, Shikana movement tend to focus on the, yeah, the militant. But if we look at the others, we see a diversity. Okay, so um, kind of focusing on a particular limitation of a group of, a, of, a, of, of, a, of scholarly accounts, scholarly accounts. No, political orientation, no. Obscures, there we go, obscures. There we go. Bosco Verticale. You know what I think is making me lack confidence actually, or drop confidence, it's that I'm not actually reading my answer choice slowly. I'm kind of rushing that reading of the answer choice. Uh, sustainability. Balconies for trees, skepticism. Can they thrive? Okay. All right. So they're skeptical because they're not sure if they can thrive. Um, support. That's correct. <laughs> Did I slow down on the answer at all? The thing that I just said that I would do. SCDU has identified a negative correlation between the share of developing countries' economies. I just zoned out. Bro, th this is not healthy. All right. Oh, my God. Why does College Board... There's no reason for it. I don't get it. Why does College Board do that? It just does it randomly. Like, right now, like wh what's with the... What is that? Where is that coming from? Why does it keep zooming me out? That's so... What the fuck? Is it... Is there motion sensing? Oh, it is motion. Oh, dude, they're using some motion API. What? When I move my iPad, it, it moves. Why did they build that? Why did they build that? Seriously, whose idea was that? <laughs> like, seriously, it's totally unnecessary. But at least now I know at least now I know where that's coming from. It's uh, it's coming from the movement of my iPad. Okay, well that wasted. I which I just wasted like a minute. All right, let me focus. Um. Sorry, I'm distracted. Let me see. If, I'm gonna go and see if I can delete this. No, 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 let's just move on. <sighs> okay, just, I'm being overly sensitive. Negative correlation, share of the economy from national resource and foreign investment. Okay, if I have a lot of natural resources, then I'm gonna get less foreign investment. Boom bus cycle can destabilize local currencies and increase developing countries' vulnerabilities to external shocks. Okay. Yeah, because of geopolitical. Okay. Wow, this is shockingly hard to like. 
basically uh, there's a negative correlation. Oh, this seems good so far. Too large is incorrect. Okay, C makes sense. Unattractive conditions, that is correct. Uh, extraterrestrial life proposed an H3 biosignature. Indication of life. An H3. Couldn't... So NH3 only works if it's not if it's on rocky planets but not on planets like Neptune. It if if it's absent whoa that's kind of trippy. Okay, there we go. That's this is what I was thinking of. This is what I was thinking. Of. It should be treated as bad. Yeah, I'm confident in that. I don't. I don't need to come back and double check B. Um, lines written early spring. Contradictory feelings while experiencing sights and sounds. I want contradictory, sad f thoughts, sweet mood, sad thoughts, sights and sounds. I heard sound. There's no sights, but besides the, besides the grove, but I mean, I'm, this is probably the only answer. That's sights, but there's no mixed feelings or contradictory feelings. Okay, number 10. I'm kind of behind right now. Am I? No, not really. I have... No, not really behind. Never mind. I'm, I have plenty of time. Modeled radial growth of sugar tree. Current, moderate, extreme. Modeled growth of maple trees. Radial growth. So you actually lose growth if there is a lot of change but nitrogen nitrogen helps Okay. And the effect, that effect provided moderate, could more than offset that effect. Oh, that's interesting. Can we offset the effect? Oh, this is without nitrogen, and then this is with nitrogen. Oh, tricky, tricky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, with nitrogen, Moderate beats without nitrogen current. With nitrogen, oops. With, with nitrogen mod moderate exceeds growth. Without nitrogen, eh? With nitrogen under moderate exceeded growth without nitrogen. But the latter exceeded growth with nitrogen under for sure. I'm just gonna, yeah, I, like I know this is right, but maybe sometimes, you know, you, you misread something, so I'm just double checking. With nitrogen in moderate, good. Exceeded growth without nitrogen under current, good. But the without nitrogen under current, exceeded growth with nitrogen under extreme, good. Yeah. Trixie, 
I know that one's actually really straightforward, but you just have to read the passage. Um, you have to read the passage slowly and figure out what it's saying. Um, I'm going to try to not touch my iPad, but I usually, I, I usually hold it as I work. I don't know whose idea it was, honestly. God. Um, tetrahedral hydrogen bonds extreme pressures destabilize compresses um, within organisms to permeate proteins and impede crucial biological functions oh that sounds like a horror movie yet they have piezophiles which have adapted and piezophiles depending on their depth, have larger concentrations, concentrations of T-mau. Okay. So we just need to find that the T-mau stops the water from penetrating the proteins. Water's molecular structure compresses No, wait, that doesn't sound... Compressing? Where is compressing? No, no, yeah, that's incorrect. That's the opposite. Hydrogen bonds are more stable. That sounds correct. Let me just remind myself. Hydro, is hydrogen bonds the thing that breaks apart? Yes. Destabilizes those bonds, so it is definitely dog. I'm just going to double check B because these are opposites. This is off topic. Okay, there we go. Yep. Um, simulate a change uh, in annual aquifer input. What is an aquifer? Don't see it. Water entering aquifer for something. Okay. Um, simulate a change in annual aquifer input and irrigation output whatever the hell that means, if precipitation concentration increases as climate models predict, okay? So where's the aquifer input? Um, this is the, okay, we're going to get more aquifer, okay? Surface water used for irrigation and then change in groundwater used for irrigation. If precipitation concentration increases, somewhat currently, somewhat is currently. Ooh, I need to read this passage to figure out what the hell this is saying. I don't get it. Okay. Notice I took a long time to read that. Some climate models predict that while total annual precipitation may remain unchanged, concentration will happen but this is saying currently that's what's tripping me up okay uh, but i'm kind of getting it precipitation will become concentrated into fewer more intense um, higher number of dry days wait if you concentrate the precipitation in fewer events okay of course Triggering more irrigation, more irrigation. Sure. But that this change of irrigation output, it depends on the baseline concentration presentation, okay? So here's the baseline concentration. So we're look, focusing on the irrigation and we're gonna talk about the water and we are seeing a big difference 0 0.4 0 0.9 9 and 7.9 and the baseline concentration is that if it's currently evenly distributed then then when the precipitation concentration happens um we're gonna have more irrigation a lot more irrigation if it's currently evenly distributed okay Ooh, i don't i don't really understand if no no if the um Okay, they all start with the same sentence, same uh, clause, same independent clause or dependent clause. 
Okay, water use for irrigation will decline. Decline is incorrect. Uh, aquifers is off topic. Uh, only slightly. Good. Uh, whereas it will increase 9 and 7.9 if evenly distributed. That is correct. And then let me just double check A. The heck? Where did 11%? Oh, that's off topic. Yeah. I probably didn't need to spend that much time trying to understand that one uh, because you're just looking for the patterns at that point, but whatever. Researchers noted that previous studies focused on other carnivores have shown that providing animals with food at regular intervals, novel, stereotypic, purposeless by reducing the need for engagement. Novel, purposelessly repetitive behaviors. Okay, interesting. They were not altogether surprised to find that captive wild lions didn't really dis uh, display stereotypic behaviors, whereas captive lions did. That sounds A. That sounds like A. That's stereotypic. I mean, honestly, do I even need to double check B, C, and D? A is correct. Uh, I'll just be extra careful because... You know what? No, I'm lazy. I'm going to mark this for review. I'll come back to it later. I'm, A is correct. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need to... I really don't need to do process elimination. I'm tired. <coughs> um... Escoffier's Ligide Culinaire, um, such recipes, uh, captures, wait, represents, uh, has, ep has epitomizes such recipes, epitomize, sorry, recipes, epitomize the cuisine. Consider the mechanics of the pinhole camera, resulting in focus. Array diagram reveals how this works. Because this happens, all this other stuff happens. Uh, long attributed to blah, blah, blahs, gained fresh attention in the 1990s when historians discovered that the painting was actually the work of little known French portrait artist. It doesn't have an article in front, so you just have to choose the no comma. Okay. Sophie Cal Kaye asked 23 people to describe their image of beauty with photographs. Both of interviewees and the items they described. comma, from hair to grass to sculptures, to powerful effect. She paired them to powerful effect in her exhibition, The Blind. Okay. That's kind of dope, actually. I'm just double checking the dashes right now. That is correct. American abstract artist Richard Serra is intending, intends his installations to make Passers by, keenly aware Huh? Aha! Tricky! Assembles large, there we go You know, I'm actually, I was actually I had low enough presence of mind that I could have gotten that one wrong It was, it was getting close I should do the zoom. I, I don't know how I forgot to zoom. <laughs> I am not totally myself right now. Biropsis um, produces toxins to avoid being eaten. However, in some cases, the toxin actually increases 
increases. Sorry, increase the toxins increase. Wow, what is wrong with me right now? <laughs> um, I hope I'm not making any errors. I feel like. All right, here we go. Jazz pianist was exaggerating when he claimed to have invented jazz music. No one can deny, however, for example, in fact, what? In other words, it's a little weird. No one can deny, therefore, because of their agreement. That's ridiculous, right? Oh, 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 I didn't see the word. I didn't see the word, um, though. I'm uh, sorry, I didn't see the word exaggerating. My bad. I am, I am dropping the ball, guys. Holy crap. Historians agree that the jazz pianist, Jelly Roll Morton, was exaggerating. No one can deny, though, that he actually made a big impact. This is what happens when you are low on sleep, guys. Uh, I've been waking up at 5.30 for the last five days. And this is my this is my final work day of the week. I am exhausted, uh, guys. Make sure to get good sleep before the real SAT, because you're, you're you're gonna start making. Uh, I'm I'm self aware enough to be able to catch my own mistakes, and hopefully I caught all of them so that I still get my perfect score. But this will happen to you. Woo! <laughs> this will happen to you, okay? Where you're just not functioning, okay? And you think that sleep doesn't affect you. It does affect you. It it affects you whether you know it or not. Uh, the fact that you don't know it's affecting you is actually a problem, okay? So, at least I know it's affecting me, I'm aware of it, I can actually have um, counter, uh, not counter, well, I can counter it to some extent, right? Ah, many of you will not be able to do so, so please, make sure to get sleep. Um, here we go. However, the differences between the two evidences are extreme, even by James' standards. In fact, here we go. two different novels, there we go. In hindsight, given the ideas, natural selection was obvious, therefore it may not have been a coincidence. Then makes sense. That's interesting, it's interesting that they, then in the sense of therefore, that's interesting. I, it's the first time that came out. Uh, to determine if the patterns suggested diurnal, daytime, nocturnal, okay. Specifically, the study whether, yeah. In other words, sure. Similarity between PNS, here we go. Start at a point called a focus, spread out from there as seismic. P waves, S waves, P fast, S slow, compress, expand, side to side. Ooh. Backward and forward, side to side. Okay. Sim similarity, they both come uh, f beneath the surface from the focus. So easy, holy crap. Like it's like I know I know I'm just making I'm just trying to prove a point that it's fine to read the whole thing, but geez. College board is actively trying to prove that you really shouldn't read the whole thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh students taking the following notes. Uh at risk species, endangered threatened. If a species that is danger is endangered. Soon to become endangered is threatened, so endangered is worse. The frog is soon to be endangered, therefore it is threatened. The frog is definitely threatened. Oh, so this is one that tries to focus. Threatened. Okay, there we go. That one actually tried to force you to read the whole thing. Uh, it, it probably, I don't think you could have gotten that one right without reading the whole thing. I'd have to go back and analyze to be sure, but yeah. Generalization about the materials. Here we go. 
Uh, distinguishable by its triangular sails, stitched hull construction. Used for these coasts. Okay, materials, here we go. Oman, contemporary Oman, uses modern and traditional replicas. Most are traditional. Replica hulls are stitched together. Same traditional fiber rope, okay. So in the Dao replicas, we're tr the generalization is something that is basically, the generalization is um, about the coconut palm fiber rope? What generalization can we ever? A traditional material that was used to stitch together the holes of ancient Dao's Still used by ship builders. I guess these are ship builders. And that's the only one that focuses on that's the only one that focuses on the materials. Yeah, I mean this is focus it's just it doesn't make a particular generalization about the materials, about the material itself, which is the uh, um, it's a little annoying that it's a little annoying that it says materials, but A only talks about I guess it has to be C I guess it has to be C because this is the generalization about the materials and Yeah, that S that S is making me not choose A. And yeah, C you can infer. <laughs> That's they're being tricky. That's interesting. They're being tricky. All right, so this is just for post elimination. Here we go. So basically, I'm trying to find purposelessly repetitive behaviors in the captive lions. Females and males is off topic, right? We're not talking about males and females at all. Plus, aggression doesn't have anything to do with purposelessly repetitive. Similarity is opposite. Okay, this is also the opposite because you want them to be contrasting each other. And you know, I'm just I'm just going to I'm going to hope that I just cat My fear right now is that I didn't really catch myself making all those mistakes. I definitely made more mistakes than I normally do because I'm so I don't know, it's just not it's just not my day. But I did catch myself making those mistakes. So I'm just going to hope I'm going to inshallah it just hey, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, I got my perfect score. I have to say my confidence is a little low because sometimes when you're when you're sleep deprived, you can't. It's hard to be aware of the mistakes that you're making. But I feel like I stuck to my process pretty tightly, so I feel like I don't know if I have to make a bet. I'm betting one wrong or better, one wrong or better. Okay. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna switch over to my uh, computer screen. Give me a sec. Let me log in first on my computer screen before I do anything, and then switch over. All right, is that my computer screen? My, uh, oh, my shortcuts aren't working right now, so I have to manually switch. Give me a sec. There we go. Uh, this is my practice. Okay, here we go.
Ah, okay. So I got my 800 on reading writing. Now let's go into score details. How many did I actually get wrong? How many did I get wrong? Booyah! Zero wrong. I am pretty happy because that was not the best. <coughs> I am pretty happy because that was not the best performance. Um, uh, so I'm just I'm just relieved really that I, I was able to capture or capture uh, that I was able to catch myself making all those mistakes. Uh, ooh, let me wind down. So, as far as the practice tests five and six go, I mean, I saw the College Board do a couple new things that I didn't see in Blue Books one through four. The one that I'm remembering right now is the synthesis question where they try to make you, they're trying to be a little bit trickier with the synthesis question, synthesis questions, and uh, that, but that has that's not totally unprecedented either. You know the the thing that I saw with the trying to force you to read the whole, read all the notes and whatnot. Um, I think the uh, the plural question uh, where it said make a generalization about the material s. Uh, it's the first time I saw on the blue book where the plural became so pivotal. Okay, and it's something I teach in my classes all the time. Uh, anytime, anytime the SAT uses an S, it's meaningful. Okay, the S's aren't just added on for fun. All plurals are meaningful, and uh, in this case, it actually paid off. I got that last question correct um, by being sensitive to that, but I just had hadn't ever seen it on a blue book come out like that. Uh, in previous SATs, on the paper SAT, and just generally in the world of logical reasoning and being clear with your communication, you know, you should be using plurals meaningfully, not just to hide your lack of evidence. Like, just uh, what I mean is, why is this important? Like, think about it in real life, you know, where um, somebody will tell you, oh, people have been telling me that you're... Uh, you're talking to my girl. People have been telling me that you're talking to my girl. And then you're like, people? Who? Uh, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike is not people. Mike is one dude and Mike hates me. <laughs> like, that's the kind of bullshit that people pull all the time. People put S's where they actually can't justify the S. They can't justify the plural, but they say it all the time. They say, people told me. Right, and and that is a bad habit to have intellectually speaking. So it is only natural that not just the SAT but all other standardized tests will make sure that when uh, that you are sensitive to plurals, uh, which is why you should pay attention to plurals, and which is why I've always taught students to look at the S. Um, but yeah, this was just the first time I've seen it come out that black and white on a blue book test. So that was good. That was good. Um, besides the synthesis questions, I felt like there was like, um, I mean, there was a tricky grammar question, but that's not, there's, that's nothing new. Um, blah, 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 comma, verb, comma, another verb. And you're like, what? <laughs> uh, so that whole thing. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else that was a little unique to Blue Book 6, but I can't remember anymore. So uh, the main thing, Always, guys, it's not to overfit your model to just the blue books. Just don't assume that you're studying the blue book tests. Assume that you're studying the English language, logical reasoning, and clear communication, okay? And just overachieve on English language, logical reasoning, and clear communication. Overachieve on it, and then you will cover the blue book as well. The SAT is a good test, okay? It's a good test of the English language, logical reasoning, and clear communication. It's maybe not the best UI, you know, it's maybe not the best test, 
I think there are better tests. Um, although for at the high school level, I'm not sure that there's many better tests. Um, they're like, but it's still a good test. So just keep improving on your foundational skills and you will do better on the blue book, especially if you don't distort your SAT score, you don't distort your actual performance by trying to rely so much on process elimination. If you are trying to do it the way that I do it, you know, just get your base skills up and then you actually just slowly read the passage and then predict the answer. If you can do that, honestly, you don't need to only rely on the blue book. You can just keep improving, again, your English language, your logical reasoning, and your uh, clarity of communication. All right, so that's it for blue book five and six, which just dropped about a little more than a week ago. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys, or maybe almost two weeks ago at this point. Um, I'll see you in the next stream. Next week, my intention is to uh, do either AP Lang free response question or just move on to a different test like the LSAT. Uh, I haven't really decided because on the one hand, I, I do want to do AP Lang because you know most of my viewers are high schoolers. The problem is that I can't get a score for my writing. You know what I mean? So I can show you how I'm doing it, but I can't get a score for my writing, therefore, like, is it gonna, I don't know how many views I'm gonna get, right? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna self-score myself? Like, then that, then I, you know, anyone can accuse me of being biased or whatever. So it's a little, it's a little funky. I mean, I know that a lot of you guys trust me. I know you guys know that I'm good at English and whatever. Um, so, so it's like, it's like uh, a little funny, but, but it's still a little funny that there's no way to, for me to get a score. And it's a little funny if I actually score myself. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm gonna maybe do AP Lang, or maybe I'll just switch over to LSAT. I don't know, <laughs> okay? Uh, and then, besides that stream, I'm also doing a Hamlet stream. So I think I'm gonna read Act 3, Act 3. Uh, that's also for free. That's just on my YouTube. Uh, main channel. Uh, so if you want to read Hamlet and you just want to, you know, uh, compare your reaction to, uh, if you want to compare your experience reading Hamlet with my experience reading Hamlet, I honestly think it's very, it's like, I really wish when I was your age, I had somebody to just like watch because I would have understood these books so much better if I saw someone who enjoys the book like react to it, you know? Uh, so guys, if you are interested in that, you can join me on my Monday, uh, US Sunday evenings. Um, let me see, let me just scoop up some of these questions. Uh, is iPad even allowed on test day? Yeah, it is. But some school districts I heard, this is just down the grapevine, some school districts I heard are kind of, um, or maybe not even school districts, but maybe a particular school. Some schools are uh, setting up their own rules. I don't think you could do that. I don't think you can set up your own rules on a, on a Saturday administration. I think on the Saturday administration, um, because the students are not only from that school, it's from outside of that school as well. The Saturday administrations, it can be kind of, I think everyone should be able to do the iPad, but maybe on like the school day administrations where, where the college board and the school district has some agreement where you know, they administer the SAT on like a Wednesday or something, right? Those administrations, uh, I think the schools can be a little bit picky and they can customize the way they uh, run the test or proctor the test. So I think it depends on which administration you're going to. Um, basically, if you don't hear any news, yes, you can take an iPad. Um, how do you know that I'm going to get a 55? <laughs> I'm so uh, I mean, I'm just going to repeat what I just said. Uh, the reason that I know I'm going to get a 54 out of 54 is because I have invested my time into developing the English language, de developing my uh, my, my, my capabilities in the English language, in logical reasoning, and in clear communication. 
I have the base skills that are necessary. So that when I take a test, I don't use these stupid tips and, tips and tricks that are that have this assumption that the, the test is out there to like screw me. I never assume the test is out there to screw me. I always assume the test is a pretty good test of English language, logical reasoning, and, uh, and clear communication. And so what I do is I don't, I don't stress myself out with all these like little tips and tricks for like process elimination. Like, oh, the classic one is like, you know, there's like, those old tips and tricks, like uh, don't choose anything that ever says always. Don't, don't choose anything that says never or ever. Bro, that's not reading, that's not English, that's not writing, that's just stupid statistical games, right? And I don't play those games, I don't play those games. I just read the passage, I predict, and I choose, I match. So it's, uh, it's like, I know it's, I know it's like, I know I'm not saying what everyone else is saying, but that's because you make more money as a tutor by saying that the SAT has these unique tricks, which it doesn't, okay? Uh, it just, it's just English, so, uh, and, it, and it pisses me off. But the difference is that me as a tutor, I'm, just, I'm not just an SAT guy, you know? I just happen to be popular on YouTube for SAT, but I'm not just an SAT person, so. That changes my approach a little bit on this. Um, why not act reading? Are you anti-act like me with Hamlet? I don't know what you're saying, but I think you're saying, uh, why do you not do audiobooks, basically? Audiobook recordings. Like, Saul, why don't you voice act the story? Um, because I suck at acting, that's why. <laughs> I'm not gonna voice act the story. Um, so, oh, and, sorry. <laughs> ACT, thank, thank you. I was, I feel stupid. Yes, yeah, um, good question. Um, I could do the ACT. I could do the ACT. You know what? You know what the honest reason is? It's because I'm kind of bored with high school tests. I'd rather do LSAT or something harder. Um, like the, 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 the honest to God, I'm just bored. The digital SAT, at least the previous SAT, at least the paper SAT was hard. You know what I mean? But the digital SAT is a little too easy and I, 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 I'm getting old, you know? I'm an old, I'm an old man now compared to you guys. And I want to keep my brain sharp, and I want to do something that's not that easy. So that is part of the um, problem. Like, if you watch me do an LSAT, you will see me stressed out. Like, like legit stressed out. Like, if I start doing LSAT streams, I cannot go into the test the same way I did today. Like, oh, I'm like tired. I need coffee. I can't do that for the LSAT. Like, it's I have to be on my toes. So um, I do want a, a, a greater challenge, but maybe I can mix it up, you know? Maybe I can alternate LSAT, ACT, LSAT, ACT. Maybe I can do that, I don't know, um, or, or whatever. I know another person wanted me to tutor them for GMAT, which is the business school one, uh, which is not, it didn't feel as hard as the LSAT, but it felt pretty hard, uh, so maybe I could do GMAT instead. Or, I don't know, does anyone want me to do AP Lang? FRQs, even though I don't get an official grade. It would be really dope if I could actually get like uh, AP teachers to grade my essays. That would be dope. But uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I'll just, uh, I'll just give a general answer for now. Uh, how did I develop uh, English knowledge and logical reasoning? Um, I mean... My story may not be totally applicable, applicable to you uh, because you might be on a short timeline and the way I actually did it did not take place on a short timeline, okay? But I just grew up, I just liked reading. I loved going to the library. When I was in high school, I would go to the university library in my, in my hometown in Las Vegas uh, with my... Uh, with my then girlfriend, uh, and we would just study there, and we would just 
and I would just like look at all the books and then it would just sort of turn me on. Not my girlfriend, the books, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, and then, um, and before, before high school, just all through middle school, I would always go to Barnes and Noble. Actually before 10th grade, I guess, middle school to 10th grade, I would just go to Barnes and Noble and I would just like, just walk through the stacks and just pick up books. And I, I just read a lot growing up. And so what happened was um, I, I probably only took like two or three practice SATs total, maybe, maybe four, you know, two, three, four practice SATs total um, before I took my SATs. I took the SAT only twice, once in sophomore year, once in junior year, I think, or was it once in junior year, once in senior year, whatever. Actually, I don't remember. I don't remember exactly, but I took it twice anyway. And um, actually, my main focus wasn't SAT. My main focus was AP Lang. And I just studied my ass off for AP Lang. And then it just helped me with SAT, you know? Um, so that's kind of the way I developed it, you know, just actually trying to be a better writer, actually trying to read new things and learn new things. And then I just developed my skills that way. So I didn't have to do SAT prep. I didn't, I never paid for a tutor ever in my life. Um, not that that's always a good thing. Sometimes it's better to just pay somebody who knows um, sometimes uh, because it accelerates the learning. But, you know, but I, I was poor. I didn't have the money. Uh, my parents, didn't, we didn't have the money to, to pay for a tutor. So, so I never got tutoring. Uh, and I just sort of read a lot. Uh, so that's how I did it. Uh, for you, obviously, that might not be the most applicable advice unless you're young. You know, if you're like an eighth grader, seventh grader, you know, that you, know, you could start just creating a habit of going to the bookstore with one of your nerd friends. But, um, but, <laughs> but if you're like 11th grade, I mean, it's a little late for that. So uh, that's going to that's gonna change the advice I give you. Uh, you can't just, unless you're thinking long term. If you're thinking long term, like not just, not just for the SAT, but you're just thinking of genuine intellectual um, growth, then yeah, just start going to the bookstore. It's actually one of the things I miss the most about living in the US. I really dislike living in the US now for many reasons, but one of the things I really, 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 really miss about the US is the bookstore and the library with English language books. <laughs> I live in Asia where we get English language books, but it's not a lot of them and it's not, the niche ones, we only get the mainstream, like the really famous ones. And, you know, I miss, I miss the nerdy English language books, the, the unpopular English language books. And also in the era of Amazon, where even America is kind of going through a problem with that, but still, I miss the nerdy books. So yeah, that's my general advice. By the way, uh, I'll just do a quick wrap up of the programs that I'm offering. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm going to stay active on, um, on YouTube, providing free and hopefully valuable content. Uh, I'm going to just work my way through other tests, maybe AP Lang, maybe some other tests, maybe a mix. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, I'll be doing that. But also, I do have some, um, what I consider, what I think is actually ridiculously inexpensive, cheap programs. Um, I have three tiers of YouTube memberships. The first one is called Give Me Advice. This is mainly just for you to give me a shout out and support my channel. Uh, it's $2 USD per month. If you are in the States, it's cheaper. If you're in other countries, $2 USD per month and you get access to two time slots of advice live streams every week, okay? Uh, so basically, if you show up four times in a month, you just, you're basically tipping me 50 cents per uh, per stream for to give you advice on whatever question you have. Uh, and then there's Give Me Structure. Give Me Structure is the second tier. This is $10 USD. Uh, if you are in the States, it's cheaper. If you're in other countries, $10 USD per month. This is basically just a guided group study where I give you a schedule and I give you a group to study with and I do a, a analysis of your I do analysis of your weakness, but I don't really go out. I don't. I don't necessarily full on teach. I might still, you know, drop a little bit of knowledge here and there. But I do a quick one hour stream where I analyze your weaknesses and explain where you guys should focus on next every week uh, as you solve a blue book practice test. And then there's also give me knowledge. This one is uh, uh, thirty dollars a month. 
uh, USD. And this one is where I actually have a two-hour class where I teach you how to actually attack uh, specific question types. So Give Me Structure focuses on just taking a Blue Book practice test. Like uh, I think this week is Blue Book practice test two or something. I forget what it was. I have to double check. But we're going to do a Blue Book practice test, and I'm going to analyze your performance. But Give Me Knowledge is I'm going to give you, uh, this week it's main ideas and details and uh, synthesis questions. And like we're going to solve those specific question types, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you you know, using my iPad, I actually show you what exactly I'm doing, right? How to break these questions down step by step by step. Uh, so it'll be, um, yeah, it'll be more focused on the actual strategy of how to approach the different question types. Uh, it is hard to find practice questions, and that is the main problem. Even the even the PDFs that I give you, they will overlap with Khan Academy and Blue Book because I'm doing everything from the SSQB. Um, but I think specifically for Give Me Knowledge, actually even for Give Me Structure to some extent, as long as you forgot, as long as you took the Blue Book practice test a long time ago, it, I think it's okay for you to reuse the materials um, as long as you're changing your approach to it, okay? Uh, as long as you're like listening to my lecture and actually changing your approach, uh, and then maybe you could supplement the materials I give in class with like, I don't know, Princeton Review or something else, and then try the approach with your own materials. Um, so I'll talk more about, I mean, I have another class in five minutes, so I have to go, but uh, long story short, give me, uh, give me advice is just two time slots every week, one time slot for US, one time slot for Europe and Asia, two time slots every week, I'll just do a general advice stream. You ask me any question, I answer that question. Uh, and then Give Me Structure is a, uh, is, a proc uh, is a facilitated group study where I have group discussions and a weekly live stream where I analyze your performance and Give Me Knowledge, which is an actual group class with group discussion and a weekly two-hour uh, lecture where I actually tell you exactly how to do how to approach the different question types. Yeah, and those three are different membership tiers. They are paid membership tiers, and you can find the link in my description below uh, if you wanna learn more about it. You can also drop comments to ask me questions about it. Hey, Elevate, good to see you. I'm actually about to leave right now. I have another class in now three minutes, so. Hey, thanks for watching, thanks for asking questions. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Until next time, keep on learning, keep on growing. Peace.